What's going on everybody? Teddy Baldassar from teddybaldassar.com. Today we're gonna to be looking at a watch available for purchase on my website, the Junghans Meister Chronoscope. So at any point throughout this video, you wanna learn a little bit more about this watch, I'll have a link in the description with also a promo code to get a free strap with your purchase. But guys, let's take a closer look at this watch. Now looking at a rundown of the specs of this Meister Chronoscope, we have a case size of 40.7 millimeters, thickness of 14.4 millimeters, lug width of 21 millimeters, lug to lug of 45.4 millimeters, water resistance of 30 meters, movement inside is an automatic Valju 7750, crystal we're looking at plexiglass, price $2,045, but if you do use promo code MeisterChrono at checkout, you can get a free strap with your purchase up to $100. And I am a full authorized dealer of Jung Hans as well, so you get that factory warranty with your purchase in addition to that. So when it comes to the family of chronographs from Jung Hans, I think there's always been a lot being delivered in terms of the looks department. The Maximal Chronoscope and the Meister Telemeter being the typical chronographs that are commonly getting mentioned when considering the brand. However, the Meister Chronoscope certainly belongs in the conversation as well. On the wrist, the Meister Chronoscope is a watch that wears pretty similar to the other chronographs available from the brand, being quite small across the wrist with the size given the manageable lug to lug of just over 45 millimeters in this case, but still demands some presence as the totality of the diameter of the case is being shown to its fullest degree as a result of basically no bezel being present on this watch. This illusion of only being dial is going to make this one wear uniquely, and I would recommend it for wrists just under 16 centimeters and up. The lugs in the Meister line have a more prominent extension from the case, but still creates a nice silhouette and houses the strap between the lugs well, making that lug to lug distance very true, with the holes being more central to the lug than at the end. Along the side of the case on the right side, we have two pushers that will help with engaging the chronograph caliber within, and a crown that can be used for time setting and winding. All these side components are tucked rather slimly to the side of the case, so the wearer isn't gonna have to worry as much compared to most chronographs out there with that added dimensions that come from these pushers. The crystal on the watch is plexiglass and features Sikrolon coating that will help with scratches and I can speak to that with my four years of ownership of a Maxbill chronoscope that has the same dimensions for the most part and crystal. However, for those that are looking for a very rugged chronograph that they can just beat around without a care in the world, I don't think this would be the best option for you. The crystal on this piece, despite maybe not being the most durable in comparison to other crystals, but in terms of the looks department, it doesn't get much better than this. The crystal extends out approximately four millimeters from the case, meaning that a large portion of that thickness is gonna be coming from this crystal. But when combining that crystal with the vivid dial here of that just sunburst blue, it creates a true winning combination in my opinion. And as I've mentioned in other Jung Hans reviews, I think one of the leading aspects that I think is very underappreciated when analyzing why these designs work so well on their watches is the typical effect taking place on the majority of them at the dial outskirts, where the dial is sloped back towards the case back this, when combined with the dome of the crystal, has an effect that makes the dial just jump out at you and really sucks the eyes in. This, with the vivid blue of the dial here, is fantastic and is a real treat in this department. And there are other dial options available, so if you do want more details on the other options from just Jung Hans overall, but also from this line, I'll have links in the description and definitely shop around the website. Taking a closer look at the dial, we have some expected design attributes for those that are familiar with this Meister family of watches. With thin applied markers, yet in this case, we have quite a bit of activity as well on the dial. At the three o'clock, the brand logo is printed above the day date function that can be activated at the second position when pulling out the crown. And just as an important side note, when setting, ensure that you are not changing the date and the day from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. So if you do want to change those discs, take the crown to the farthest position to not be between that six hour time period, and then you can go ahead and have fun with it. The only reason why I advise against this is that those discs inside of there are gonna be gradually creeping to engage to the next day. And if you start manually overriding that, it could cause some issues with that date function. But just wanna make that clear because I think that's one of those things that watch enthusiasts don't really consider. At the center of the dial, we have a Dauphine handset that cast over the three subdials at the 12 a 30 minute subdial at the six a 12 hour subdial and the nine you have your running seconds to set the chronograph it will act in typical fashion with the two o'clock pusher being able to stop and start and then the four o'clock being that reset so when the chronograph is stopped you can reset it at that stop position 
and get that second hand back to the 12. Flipping over the chronoscope, we have view through an open case back of the most ubiquitous automatic chronograph caliber with the Valju 7750. So this movement has been a staple in the world of watchmaking. And chances are, if you have a mechanical chronograph with a vertical register display for under $3,000, chances are that watch is going to be using this movement as a base at the very least. The movement in this Junghans is nicely finished with a sign rotor with a Cote de Genève finish on it and on the cover plate and perlage finishing on the barrel bridge. This movement, given it being used in a variety of watches in the market, is going to make servicing much more manageable than that of other chronograph movements out there, primarily in-house movements, and delivers with great reliability. The movement is, of course, automatic, and if you do feel a little bit of rotation of that rotor on the wrist, that has kind of come to be expected with these Valjean movements, so don't worry. The movement operates at 28,800 vibrations per hour or 4 hertz, is hacking and hand winding, and has approximately a 44-hour power reserve. But as mentioned at the beginning of this video, I find that a lot of watches from Junghans don't necessarily get the appreciation that it deserves, and I think this is one of them. Very clean looking chronograph, and yes, it is a little bit busy on the dial, but if there's one thing that Junghans does well, it's taking complex dial details and simplifying it to the simplest form. And in this case, I think we're getting exactly that, and it's certainly a chronograph that should be on your radar. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Also, we'll have more information in the link in the description, also with that promo code. And if you do to purchase this watch, definitely use it and know that every single purchase supports the free content on my main channel. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.